Good morning, Grace Hill. Um, today I'm going to recover a few points from Jonah chapter 3. But just prior to that, I just want to look quickly at Jonah 1 verse 17, um, because it, it brings home a very important point. But the Lord provided a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was inside the fish three days and three nights. And it just sprung out at me at the page there that God's provision may not be what we expect. And then in Jonah 2, verse 1, from inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. He said, in my distress, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. And it just struck me that in the midst of our crises, we can call on the name of Jesus. And if we look at Psalm 105, verse 4, it says that, um, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. When something is going wrong in your life, pay full attention. God is doing something. Understand that it's also not enough just to have a name and a calling. Um, Jonah was a prophet and he had a calling. Earnestly seek God and ask him to develop in you the character you will need to walk in his gifts and calling. Jonah's disobedience and immaturity affected not only him, but also those around him. Do not allow anger or pride to remain in your heart. They led to, jo to Jonah's disobedience. Turn away from these attitudes and seek to have God's character of mercy, grace, patience, forgiveness, and, long and loving kindness. Ask God's forgiveness and for his heart of mercy toward any people or place you may have deemed deserving of judgment or too wicked to be worth saving. Begin to pray. Worship God, proclaim his character, and cry out for his mercy, so that repentance may come to those people or that place. Ask God for a second chance. I think we've seen this. In chapter 3, verse 1, it says, And the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. I do believe that God is a God of second chances. Ask God for a second chance. You may have disobeyed the Lord to the point that you believe he can no longer use you. Look at Jonah. There is hope for you too. Ask God's forgiveness for your sin. Submit to his will for you. Draw near to him through worship. Praise him for his mercy, grace and forgiveness. Tell him you will follow him fully and do it. We just see that we need to trust the plan of God in our lives. Jonah obeyed the Lord and then went to Nineveh. And look, all those people repented. And it's just a point that, I, that many years ago, in fact, in, in 2009, I made a point in my Bible here. Um, I cannot hold a grudge against, and I won't mention the person's name. <laughs> it was a family member. And um, we'd heard the story that uh, this particular family member had committed their lives to Christ after great trauma that had gone on in the family. So I was just reminded of that. I thought, wow, Lord, you took me back to that point, that we, we can't look at people and think, what did they do to deserve to be saved? So we have to be obedient to God's plan. We have to walk according to his purposes. I pray that this may be helpful to lots of you this week. Have a wonderful week further. Take care.